find the reactions at the fixed supports. In this question, we have to find out reactions at the fixed supports. If we observe the diagram, then the total elongation delta L allowed is equal to 1.5 mm because these two bars are in between the fixed supports. When this total elongation is taking place, then the lower bar is in contact with the lower fixed support. We are going to solve this question by using free body diagram. So we will give the numbers to this bar. So here is the bar number 1 and this is the bar number 2. Now when this lower bar is in contact with the lower fixed support then the reaction we have to show. So this reaction at bar 2 that is known as R2 and its a direction is towards the bar. So we will show here as a R2. Now for this upward direction we will show positive sign and the forces which are in lower direction we will give the negative sign. So I will mention here the magnitude that is plus R2. This is free body diagram and to balance this force R2 we have to show the force R2 with opposite in direction. So I will show here R2 with opposite in direction. Now if we observe this R2 is having downward direction. So its magnitude is minus R2. Now we will move to the bar 1. So if we observe for this lower end we don't know the magnitude as well as direction of the force. So I will just draw here one line and magnitude we will consider as a x. So this is the unknown magnitude. Now if we observe the diagram then in between this bar 1 and bar 2 there is lower force 50 kN is given. So standard unit is Newton. So we will consider here as a 50,000 Newton. So how to show this? So if we observe this x plus R2 is equal to 50,000 Newton. Now this R2 is having downward direction. So we have to take x minus R2. So x minus R2 is equal to 50,000 Newton. Now this 50 kilo Newton is also having downward direction. So we will give here negative sign. So x is equal to minus 50,000 plus R2. Now we will take minus sign as a common term. So if I take here minus sign as a common term then it will become 50,000 minus R2. Now this 50,000 minus R2 is magnitude and here this negative sign is for the direction. So if I show downward direction then here we have to take this 50,000 minus R2 as a magnitude for this downward direction. I will show here this total magnitude with negative sign 50,000 minus R2. Now to balance this bar 1 we have to show same magnitude but opposite in direction. So for opposite direction this minus sign will become plus. So I will show opposite direction that is upward direction and for this upward direction magnitude is plus 50,000 minus R2. So if we observe this is the upper fixed support and this upper fixed support we will say that the reaction at this point is equal to R1. So from this we can say that R1 is equal to 50,000 minus R2. So this is the relation in between R1 and R2. Now we have to find out delta L1 and delta L2. So if we observe delta L1 is with tensile force. So due to tensile force length increases. So here plus delta L1. And for bar 2 compressive force. And due to compressive force here the length decreases. So here will be minus delta L2. So how to find out. So we will first find out delta L. For that we have relation. We know the Young's modulus E is equal to stress divided by strain. So stress is equal to P by L. 
and strain is equal to delta L by L. So in denominator delta L by L. So I will write here L by delta L. Therefore delta L is equal to we can write P L divided by A E. So this is the formula to calculate delta L. So how to calculate delta L1? So if we observe this diagram we will write delta L1 is equal to instead of P we have to take P1. So P1 that is the tensile force. So magnitude we have to take 50,000 minus R2. 50,000 minus R2 multiplied by length. So standard unit is meter and length is given L1 multiplied by 1.2 divided by area A1. So area is given in millimeter square. So we have to take into meter square. So 100 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 6 meter square and E. Young's modulus is given 100 giga Newton per meter square. So we will take 100 into 10 raised to 9 Newton per meter square. So remember while calculation we have to use standard units. Now we will find out delta L2. For delta L2 if we observe here magnitude of force is R2. So we will take here as a R2. Then L that is length. Length is 2.4. Divided by area A2, 200 into 10 raised to minus 6. And Young's modulus, 100 into 10 raised to 9. If we observe the denominator of delta L1 and delta L2, we will multiply 2 by 2 for this delta L1. So that denominator of delta L1 and delta L2 will be same. Now we will simplify this. So we will put these two values delta L1 and delta L2 in the equation delta L1 minus delta L2 is equal to delta L. So when we put here delta L is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3. Now this denominator is same. So we will transfer to the right hand side. So 1.5 multiplied by 200 multiplied by 100 into 10 raised to 3. So this 10 raised to 3 and 10 raised to minus 3 will be getting cancelled. And we will simplify these terms and then we will get the equation in terms of R2. So R2 is equal to 14583.3 Newton. So we will write this in kilonewton 14.58 kilonewton. Now we have relation in between R1 and R2. So R1 is equal to 50,000 minus R2. So R1 is equal to 3,5,4,1,6.7 Newton. Therefore R1 is 35.4 kilonewton. 